In this video, we'll work on layers and groups. So here we have these uh, graphics. As you can see, each piece is separate. Okay, there are different shapes. Okay, but what if I would like to move them together in a group? So I would make a selection in order to select all of the pieces. Right, and I right click, and here's a group. So now after I put the group together, see now I can move the whole thing together. But what if I would like to change the color of let's say just one face or both the two faces? Before we group it, let's see for for example this piece, we can still select individual piece. Right? For example, this one we can still select individual piece and go to the color panel and then by switch a color, we can update the color here. Right, let me go back. Um, after you group it, you all have to double click on the group. See, so now I double click. So now I enter the group. Okay, so I was in the layer one and now I'm in the group. And all the other pieces have been turned in green color and I'm not able to select those because I'm right now I'm in this group. So right now you are in this group and then you will be able to select the pieces. Okay, and then we can select this one. And let's see if I would like to change it to blue color. Here's a darker blue color. Okay. And same thing here. So if I would like to apply the same color as this one, I can just select this um, this shape and go to here, the color picker, and just pick up this color so it will apply to the new shape. Okay, when you're done, use the selection tool, double click on a empty area to exit the group. So here it is. The change has been updated. And now we can move all the shapes together as one group. Okay, as we have a group them together because now this group is a new object in this layer. So that's why it pump up to the top on top of other pieces. Okay, so in previous lesson, you know, if you would like to send it back, just go to top menu, object, arrange, send to back. 